I have no words for this week. No coding experience, no design experience. How am I gonna do this? This is real. <laughs> I can't be the only one that like struggled with it this much, right? Hi, it's Esty. I am now on phase two. Oh my God. Um, I can't believe I'm finally in phase two. <gasps> Not crazy. Wow, time seriously flies so fast. Wow. Design Lab gave us some options of what platforms you can use to make our website. And um, the most popular ones were Squarespace, Wix, and Webflow in my opinion and um, number one was Squarespace but if Squarespace was difficult for some people then um, a lot of people use Wix only problem with Wix of what I've heard is that it's not as responsive so remember that and that's another reason why I decided to try Webflow out first I don't have any coding experience and this is something where you do need a bigger learning curve since um, it's basically kind of like a visual form of coding so you have to understand the concept of coding to process Webflow. I've been hearing that as a UX designer it really helps for you to communicate with developers and understanding coding language and in that sense I thought that utilizing this time while I'm currently learning um, try to understand Webflow and get the idea of coding into my brain so that I can hopefully create like a smoother communication process with my teammates and with other teams. So fingers crossed that I try it out and it's successful. I'm dedicating around um, two days, so this weekend, to watch a lot of tutorials or just study um, Webflow out. If I can't get enough understanding of it by Monday, then I'll move on to Squarespace because I have um, a mentor call just for this portfolio, portfolio um, on Thursday. So this is my big plan that I have. <laughs> so fingers crossed that it's going to work out. So I spent two full days just watching tutorials and figuring what flow out. Because of the time constraint, it's only around a week for you to build your own website. I slept really late on both days. I think I slept between one or two in the morning. I'm going to work on my website. Uh, deep side. It's, it's, I think the most difficult is reflecting the responsiveness of my website. Good morning. I pulled another all-nighter. I just woke up. Oh my god. Okay, no coding experience, no design experience. How am I gonna do this? Update. I have no words for this week, guys. A part of me is like, why? SD, did you choose to freaking do Webflow for the first time and you have to finish it in a week? Mm. And then there's another part of me that's saying, well, you're not going to be satisfied with a Squarespace website because you already have an idea of what you want. Are you really going to just do Squarespace now and then go to Webflow? You can, but it's gonna take so much longer overall, which is true. So, I mean, I already started with Webflow. I have to stick to it. It's just taking so long because it's like a learning curve, a huge learning curve. You have no idea how many tutorials I've watched like YouTube, Webflow University, you name it. Um, oh, do you want to know something else? I keep getting bug bites. So like 
I put toothpaste on because I found that that's the best home remedy to alleviate the itchiness and I think it soothes the bite a lot too this one I got it last night it's crazy how it happened because I think it's crazy because like literally when I was like working I felt something here and I was just mindlessly you know I touched it and it and it kind of felt like wet and I'm like oh what's that and then did it like I went like boom oh it's wet and then I look why is it red is that blood and then I don't know like just as a reflex so I just like put my hand on a notebook and just went oh what is that and then it was blood I'm like yeah that's a blood stain and I'm like oh my god I caught it while it was taking my blood I caught a mosquito while it was taking up my blood my desk is a mess like do you see this? Do you see this? What is going on? <laughs> yeah. I have like random things on my desk because like in the middle of the night, I was thinking of random things. Like I was debating like, should I put nail polish on? I should clip my nails. So there's been fire happening and a lot of ash is falling. Like, I don't know if you can tell actually on the camera, but I have like ash particles come in since I had my window open not too long ago so yeah crazy I even have a window screen on but Ugh. oh my god whoa okay I should clean up I should clean up that's a lot of ash I don't know why I did this to myself. Yeah, guys, this is real. I have to finish my portfolio today. Also, I applied on Webflow to get their student discount for their plan. Yeah, hopefully I could get a discount, but they're not going to get back to me because they said they'll get back to me by the end of the week. Hopefully my mentor is okay with that because I can only make two pages on my webflow since I'm on the free trial I mean I'm just he said I just need to present my case study though right so I'm just focusing on that for now but it's taking forever okay much better oh is it is it better I don't know do not limit yourself and keep going that's all you can do keep going even if it's not ready the website will launch and we will work from there so i'm gonna keep working fingers crossed i really finish i have to finish i have to finish i have to finish i have to finish today because i'm presenting tomorrow and i need to go over my presentation i need to make a presentation for tomorrow i need to create and make and prepare Ugh. Like pro tip, don't wait until you um, do your portfolio to reiterate your um, all of your deliverables that you're going to put in your portfolio. Yeah, you should do that. Because <laughs> I'm just literally, I don't have time for that. Like I can't have time to um, revamp my deliverables to fit my brand colors. So I'm just going to have to do that the next following week because I can't do that in the next couple hours. But in, in the next less than 24 hours. Oh my god, stop thinking about it. Okay, let's keep going. Yes, can you tell that I am anxious? and stress like how am i going to do the next half i have no idea because i don't know what i'm capable of yet it's going how going as i go i know some people like when i see videos they've already sketched out or made a template on sketch figma of the website layout but i honestly don't know my skill set 
right now i don't know what i'm good at i don't know i'm not good at anything so i've only had a rough sketch of what i knew i could probably do for my landing page but for my case study man like i'm doing it as i go literally this is where i was in this exact seat during labor day weekend i'm on day five of webflow actually t yesterday was the first time where i felt like oh i'm actually getting it which was four I can't be the only one struggling with wet flow. Why is wet flow so hard? This time seriously flies so fast. What the heck? It was morning earlier and now it's like, it's four. What? Hi. <laughs> I deserve this. Update. It is now 12.19 a.m. I think I'm done. I'm sleepy. Um, I'm gonna go to sleep. I pulled an all-nighter last night. Oh, I just turned my computer off. I, I just had my mentor meeting about my portfolio <sighs> and I presented my case study to him I'm just happy, so happy it's over oh my god it took me freaking five days to just make two pages on Webflow <laughs> I can't be the only one that like struggled with it this much, right? I submitted my break request on design lab i don't have a call next week with my mentor this is this is like a surreal feeling guys after you like i think this is like such a rewarding feeling where you like worked really hard tried your best and you get rewarded with a long break time is the best gift about my portfolio um, nowhere near where I want it to be if you want to see it please be nice don't please look at it with very very um, don't be hard on me <laughs> uh, it literally yeah yeah I don't know if I'm gonna like really work on it during this break but you can see my first first attempt you could, you could witness the before and after of my portfolio <laughs> How about that? So join me in my journey of my portfolio design um, For the case study, um, FYI, it's like I, I talked with my mentor today, I presented it I ended up, I was so nervous And um, I presented it and it was only like He said it was only 13 or 14 minutes And I'm like, ooh He's like, how long did you like, think you did? And I'm like, 15? And he's like, no, 13. And I'm like, freaking those two minutes. But um, no, he's like, no, you need to make sure your presentation's between 20 to 30 minutes because that gives you enough time where um, you know you've provided ample enough information, but not too much. 
yeah. Um, I need to practice more, even though I practice the, 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 the feels, just being on spot, you know, like, get to me. I wish I was good at presenting, but I'm not, but I'm glad my mentor makes me practice. And so overall, he said that um, it looks really great. It's just I'm missing a lot of information, which is true probably because when I see like ADP list portfolio reviews and stuff, they're all like, oh, I'm just going to scroll down. I don't read all this stuff. And I'm like, oh, okay, then why put it in there if I could explain it? But my mentor is like, oh, no, you took out too much. <laughs> so I was like, oh, no, like, oh, man. So I need to put more things in there. But, um, yeah. I'm gonna shower. Bye.